another test of wills. Seems to with Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Once again, the U.S. has drawn a line in the sand, and once again, Iraq says it will step over it. Good morning, America. I'm Joan London. And I'm Charles Gibson. Good to have you with us on this Thursday, January 7th. Just hours after the CIA director, Robert Gates, predicted that Iraq would defy the 48-hour ultimatum on missiles in the no-fly zone. This morning, Spencer. That's right, Charlie. At the big consumer electronics show here in Las Vegas, the biggest show of its kind in North America. We're going to show you the latest gadgets, uh, gadgets and gizmos available to the consumer, and we'll show you the latest weather available to the viewer. Joan? Get to that was a movie, but those shows are a <laughs> lot of fun. The national weather, he is in Las Vegas, as he explained. Spencer? All right, Charlie, my kind of town and my kind of uh, show right here, the big consumer electronics show, the biggest one in North America, as I pointed out earlier, opens today, it goes through Sunday, and everything in the world, every latest innovation in audio, video, electronic stuff is here. This is not open to the public, by the way. It's open to dealers and merchants and buyers and those type of folk, but uh, there are quite a few of those folk here today, and we'll be telling you more about this a little bit later. Right now, let's go to the graphics and take a look at what's happening in the world of weather. It <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Eight minutes after right now, time for Spencer Christian and the national weather forecast. He's out in Las Vegas at that great, big, huge electronic show. That's, that's fun, isn't it? It is a lot of fun, Joan. There is so much to see here and to, and to actually do because m much of this stuff is uh, interactive. Uh, and it's a good thing I'm inside because it's been raining in Las Vegas for a couple of days now. That's rather unusual. Let's go to the map so I'll show you what's going on around the country. Since I'm at a place with all kinds of new gadgets, I've got something especially for Charlie here. Charlie, I know you're going to love this. Uh, can I tell you about it? Well, they've just plopped down a fax machine next to me and a telephone, ah, so I suspect that's... that what you have is some kind of a, uh, of a fax. Charlie, this is called the Pocket Faxer. It is the smallest fax machine in the world. In fact, next year, the Guinness Book of World Records will list it as the smallest fax machine in the world. And it's all set to go right now. I'm going to fax you something. If you can read my screen here, it says fax to, and of course, it's to Charlie, and of course, it's from Spencer, and of course, the subject, Consumer Electronics Show, which is where I am right now, and the message, Good morning, America. And so now I'm going to start the faxing process. Send, yes. And this is, this is now in the sending mode. And while this is transmitting a message to you, Charlie, I'm going to give you a chance to take a look at some of the other incredible things here at the Consumer Electronics Show. 1,700 companies have set up booths here at the Consumer Electronics Show, America's largest. This unit here is our digital compact uh, cassette home unit and uh, we'll be unveiling the state-of-the-art portable digital cassette. The uh, suggested minimum retail is $549. Now check this out, a high-tech boombox with CD player and control panel. This is the Panasonic Palmcorder IQ series. This camcorder is quite possibly the first point-and-shoot camcorder in existence, and it has a slew of features, for example, color viewfinder. It enhances everything you do. It uh, just makes the whole image seem to widen. This is what we call the time runner, and it's an uh, organizer, electronic organizer, that combines electronics and paper. We've uh, developed them because we found in our research that people don't feel comfortable using all electronics to do their organizers. They still want to write something down, like pick up the dry cleaning, whereas they want to put their names and addresses, long-term things that they don't have to cha change very often electronically. 80,000 buyers and dealers are expected here at the Las Vegas Convention Center through Sunday. Nintendo's got the biggest display of any trade show in the history of trade shows. This year, Nintendo is releasing what uh, we think is the best video game we've ever come up with. It's called Star Fox. And it's the first game to utilize a new technology uh, using the Super FX chip, which is the first time in video games that real three-dimensional action is possible. The electronic show is a great place for everyone to see what everyone else is doing. There are not many opportunities to do that. It's nice to have one place where everyone uh, can see what the competition's doing. And so there you go, uh, Charlie. Did you get the facts? Has it arrived? Spencer, perhaps for the first time in the history of when we've tried something live, it actually worked. Uh, <laughs> I got great. the little message uh, right here. Can you see that? Now, you actually typed this into that little, uh, that little fax machine, right? That's absolutely correct. This is uh, it, it's a legitimate fax machine. Works just like the regular large 
table model, only it's a pocket faxer. But you can't send an actual document. You just type in the message that you want to send. Type in the message, exactly. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. Just put it in your pocket and go. Absolutely. It works great. All right. Terrific. Thanks very much, Spencer. Okay. It is uh, now 13 minutes after. Question is out there at the Gadget Show. <laughs> Joan, got to show you one of my favorite gadgets here. This is the latest thing in camcorders called the ViewCam by Sharp. This part of the unit is the camera. This part of the unit is the viewfinder. It's actually a four-inch screen. Let me show you what you can do with this. For those of you who are narcissistic, you can revolve this part of the, uh, the camera back and look at yourself on the screen. You can want to see something way up high, hold the camera up high, tilt the screen, the viewfinder back so you can see what you're shooting. You want to see something down low, like you got a little tyke running around the house, put the camera down at the little one's angle and simply flip back the screen so you can see what's going on. Follow Follow sporting events, forget those little squinty-eyed viewfinders. You can follow the sporting event like this with your own eyes, and you can see right here on the viewfinder what's going on. This is an incredible device. We'll show you more incredible devices tomorrow. We're going to have the latest in space-age home video technology where you can interact. I can't wait till tomorrow because I get more excited every day. <laughs> you get all those are up. great. How big is the tape that that thing shoots, Spencer? The tape, 8 millimeter. Ah. And it has immediate playback capability with a little... Uh, Speaker right here, you can hear everything. It's great. That's so you. Well, we know what Spencer's going to spend his <laughs> money on. Tomorrow, sports and racism. Is it a problem that can be solved? Half hour on that. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.